What's up, everybody? It's your boy Squid at Joe, and uh, coming back from having to, I, I would say, run away from tornadoes and storms and stuff like that. So, again, I apologize for whenever this video is going up um, for the little delay. If you haven't seen that video, as far as an important channel update, I will go ahead and leave it somewhere on the screen as well as uh, you can just find it on the channel. With that being said, I do want to go ahead and talk to you today about the Fine Fine A20s that Fine Fine has sent out for a review. This is a new product coming from them, and I've seen a somewhat uh, a little bit of surgeons of like photos and and pictures and stuff and people using it in their setup and everything and they all look good but i'm going to go ahead and tell you guys that even though fine fine sent it out to, for me to review and tell you guys about it and even if you purchase it through an affiliate links that would be listed down in the description i do want to go ahead and say that yes they are a sponsor of the channel i've talked about uh my relationship with them and how that mean or what that means i would say as far as me getting uh, affiliate uh links money aware from amazon and them giving me a little bit more because they they see that my code's being used uh, through the Amazon tracking affiliate code or whatever because they have that information in their database. But if you want a little bit more of a deep dive, I suggest go watching the Fine Fine Apple Tank Tank 3 video that I did because I did a long spill in the beginning to explain it. I'm not going to do that in every single Fine Fine video, but you can go back and reference that video wherever I'll have it linked in the description as well on screen for you. We're going to go ahead and talk about the A20s today, but I do want to quickly briefly mention again that... Um, I have the Fine Fine A16. I purchased this with my own money. It comes in around $50 on Amazon. These are gonna be coming around $47. There are some pros, I would say, to having this device over this one. One of them is going to have uh, the Bluetooth. It's going to have the battery. It's going to have RGB just like this one, but it's also gonna have a space for a SD card in the back, as well as multiple other connections i would say in the back as well as you can see right there um and on top of that the form factor you might like this one a little bit more than these and the buttons on the front despite the eq or wherever they sound i would say very clicky as far as uh like a keyboard that has clicky switches or wherever so that might be something that you want to I'd be interested in it and you might want to purchase this over that they have it in white and black I decided to go with the white one I've used this for going outside and doing a little dancing in my driveway or wherever but I wouldn't go out to do like a street performance or something like that when I go and do those I have an actual bigger speaker or wherever that has 50 hours of battery life has a bass boosted uh, button or wherever and just overall a better I would say experience doing that but you know around the office around the home or something like that this is my Bluetooth go to speaker speaker it sounds really good or wherever for the components that uh, are inside of it as well as this one is pretty much in the same boat it has good components for the price point you're not going to be blown away or wherever it's not going to beat out like i said that hundred and something dollar uh, speaker from walmart or whatever it loses a lot of the functionality of the a16s again i purchased that with my own money at 50 dollars. these are coming in at 47 it doesn't have bluetooth it doesn't have the battery life or anything like that it's going to have to be hooked up to some kind of source or wherever through usb and what you do can do or wherever is get one of the you know the little power bricks or wherever plug into a wall outlet or a usb hub or something like that um to power these or even hook it up to your speaker to power these these are not going to you know supply any data or anything like that it's just meant to actually turn on the speakers so what does that mean is that these little chargers or wherever if you use any kind of that stuff and not like your pc or something like that to power it you have to make sure that you're not using i would say a quick charge uh power brick or something like that or fast charge or any of those fancy ones wherever just an everyday mundane power brick or a, a say usb hub or even plug it up to your computer because if you use anything else than that it's probably going to damage them and there's warnings throughout the listings where we're on amazon and in the manual itself so let's go ahead and talk about the unboxing experience um it's the typical fine fine unboxing if you ever unbox anything from them um nothing made me feel premium like i would say with the am8 um even with the k688 and even with the ample tank tank 3 from fine fine those are reminiscent of what you feel like when you open up this box this box or wherever and the way they're doing things i think is more of from a, uh, being able to recycle and thinking about components and stuff like that and being able to easily discard it uh, the rubbish and stuff so 
again, it's nothing that's gonna wow you wherever in that experience, but I will say getting the A16 and that line of uh, systems as far as from fine fine or wherever is a little bit more of a, a I would say premium unboxing experience or wherever in comparison to these speaker systems. But again, I got those months ago wherever the A16, so it could be just them trying to change things up or wherever and be more, I would say, eco-friendly probably. Um, with that being said, the only thing and the drawback to me as far as getting this speaker system and using it or wherever is the fact that we're still using a 3.5 millimeter jack. Uh, it comes attached to the USB, but you can obviously, you know, peel the cords apart and everything. So you can have, you know, six foot of USB cable going one way, six foot of the 3.5 millimeter jack going the other way. And they're just attached together coming out of the back of one of the speakers so again you got six foot of length to play with i think that's uh more than enough for what this speaker system is but it is kind of unfortunate that you know it's not battery powered or operated or something like that with the a16 uh, with this speaker system though between the wires between both speakers you're going to have a foot a five foot gap so you can you know have room again to play with how you're going to set this up whether you're going to lay it on its side or standing up both obviously work and we're going to go ahead and talk about uh the rgb because the rgb is a big component i feel like of what this speaker system uh allows wherever to uh spruce up your setup i do wish that the speakers came in white maybe they will do that in the future just like i said with uh, ample tank tank 3 hopefully that comes in white um because fine fine when they do white colors even though they might incorporate some black or a different color in it they always make it look good in my personal opinion same thing with the a16s the silver part up top wherever it gets dusty really quick and you could probably see it right there in the reflection of the light or wherever i dust this thing constantly i wipe it down but because of the reflection or wherever of it when you wipe it down or wherever there's still streaks and stuff so it's going to be a little bit of annoyance or wherever having that um even though you, when you clean it and everything so that's kind of a drawback right there on the a16s but these you know you're not going to have anything like that and i feel like if they did incorporate a different color in the future which hopefully they do you know like the pink and the white and the black the setup that we see that they typically do with that being said going into the rgb wherever there are multiple different rgb cycles i'll try to show the b-roll of the rgb cycles and stuff and also let me know in the comments down below how you feel about my new uh setup for b-rolls and, and everything how that's looking because that's right over here and i'm incorporating a lot of components and stuff yes i'm new to it it's not going to be something crazy as far as uh what you see from other channels and their b-roll but you know baby steps learning stuff or wherever taking time to um you know really try to you know bring more value and content to you guys so again let me know how you feel about that down in in the comment section down below but again multiple different uh say rgb modes it's about seven different ones and then you have also the solid colors this is giving me um if you've seen my video on the am6 vibes or wherever as far as having different uh, rgb settings and stuff and different capabilities they're really stepping up i would say from the likes of the am8 that had the rgb ring at the bottom or wherever so again they're leaning a little bit more i feel like into that rgb space i love rgb as you can probably tell um i think it allows you to add a lot more personality to your setup what other colors you go with so with that being said i do think that this rgb sections uh selections or wherever that are here are pretty nice or wherever even though they're somewhat limited but they're still pretty nice um, as far as like being able to pick certain colors that you want or wherever you don't really get that it's just kind of whatever they set up in here but it's still i think a way for you to find at least an rgb section that you like if you don't then you always have the solid colors to fall back on which is also nice i think that adding these rgb settings and stuff what they did here into a microphone like let's say the am8 with that ring at the bottom that would be really cool fine fine if you can do that in the future i do want to say that the the touch capacitive button at the top that allows you to switch between the rgb sections or wherever it is very very you have to be pretty much dead center on it it's not very very i would say sensitive or wherever so if you touched anywhere on the top but as soon as you hit directly in the center of the actual i would say design up top or wherever it's like a little sun little uh 
I would say image, you're going to want to hit the circle where we're literally in the middle because anywhere else on this, it will not change. So that might be a downside to you. It's not a downside to me. I actually like it. So that means anytime I accidentally bump the speaker or I'm changing it or adjusting it, I'm not worried that, oh, you know, the top is so sensitive that I changed my design. I have to cycle through all of them again. Um, again, it might be a drawback to you. It's not a drawback for me. Um, I fairly like that addition. Moving on however to the actual sound quality of the device. Here's a little bit of a sound test. <laughs> So feature squid here i just did the audio testing section for the speakers where we're using stream beats from um senpai gaming or head is hell or wherever whoever you want to you know recognize the music by but i tested the hip-hop scene i tested the you know the synth wave the lo-fi and then some edm and stuff like that those are just quick little sound bites and stuff but i realized when i was editing this video that i didn't really talk about what i meant by not having these speakers set to max and it's not the audio quality obviously the little mic that i used where it was a shotgun mic there was no post processing or editing or whatever done to the audio it's just how it sounds straight into the actual mic or whatever and at a good distance away but the problem like i said with these speakers is not the fact of their components the music sounds good but once you start switching to genres that have a little bit more bass like the edm or the hip-hop or something like that you start running into the fact of the constraints of the size of the speakers it's not the quality of the components or whatever it's just that you start to lose uh I would say the clarity of different instruments and vocals and stuff like that. Obviously, I didn't play anything with vocals, but you kind of get what I'm saying is that these speakers or wherever, when you start blasting them, I would say above 80%, then all the instruments, everything or wherever just sounds like a garbled mess. And it's not like you can't hear the music or wherever and it sounds tinny or something like that or distorted. It's not that, it's just everything sounds the same because everything is like blasted because it's at its max capacity. Um, especially when you start introducing more bass. And like I said, it's not the speakers themselves, it's not the components inside or anything like that. It's literally just the fact of, this is a small footprint. The music that's coming out or wherever might be clear, 
but you're not gonna hear the individual notes and tones. And it's coming from somebody who, you know, does hip hop dance that understands the musicality, that understands individual sequences inside of a beat. And when you start losing all that and it all just sounds like one volume or wherever, you don't hear the highs in the in the background or the lows of an instrument in the background, like that being played at the same time as a boom, 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 boom. Like all of it just sounds like it's all happening at the same time. And you can't really pick up on the subtleties of a certain beat that somebody painstakingly put into the music. So when somebody is dancing or wherever to it, they're hitting different notes, they're hitting different beats and stuff. It all just sounds the same. Uh, hopefully that's a little bit of a clarity on what I'm talking about. Hopefully you guys can understand what I'm talking about. Again, it's not the knock to the speakers or anything. It's just that these speakers are not meant, I think, to process that kind of uh, complex uh, things inside of a music and stuff. And like I said, if you are going to use these for gaming and stuff, especially like in a, I would say, Battle Royale or something like that, knowing noticing the little differences or wherever in sound versus somebody's footsteps and what direction it's coming from and you know is it above you is it below you all that stuff when you just hear footsteps and that's it you have no idea where it's coming from wherever and on top of that it might be overshadowed by the fact that maybe somebody's having a gunfight you know relatively close or something as well so you maybe don't even hear those footsteps because it's all coming at you at once so you might think it's their footsteps you see what i'm saying so having the clarity to be able to hear every single instrument inside of a music or wherever or everything that's going on in a game or something like that is very important so that's why i said for casual like watching content or something like that you might not need to know hear that kind of stuff playing a video game or wherever and, and like a first person you know action game or whatever single player game that might be enough for you or wherever these speakers but trying to be any kind of competitive you shouldn't be using speakers anyways in my personal opinion but trying to play a competitive game or you know listen to i would say complex music or wherever if you really like the subtle tones and differences inside of music like maybe you like a lot of jazz or wherever and you want to hear all the instruments and instrumentals and stuff playing it any above 80% is going to, you're going to lose out on that. And again, it's not the components. It's not like, it's not clarity or crystal clear or anything like that. It's just, like I said, the, the components inside struggle at this footprint, how small they are and everything in size and compact it is. It struggles with trying to make that distinction between different things and different tones and, and everything like that. So hopefully again, adds a little bit of a clarification on what I'm trying to say about these speakers. I think I kind of just say that don't go over the volume or wherever, but I'm probably just going to cut that out and leave this here because again, these speakers are good. They sound good wherever for the price. They're phenomenal. I think or wherever they should be charging a little bit more in my personal opinion, above 50, maybe 60 bucks or wherever for these. Um, so below 50, especially if you can get a deal wherever from fine, fine, these speakers are really good. They're going to be good for lo-fi or something like that, or maybe even some synth wave or something. But if you're banging out like hard hitting hip hop with a lot of bass and stuff like that, you're not going to want to even probably put these over 75 to 70%. If you're listening to a lot of EDM, the same thing. Again, it just depends on the type of music you're listening to. If it's just a lo-fi, you know, a casual song, maybe some pop or whatever that doesn't have too much bass and, or maybe Maybe you're not a bass head and you like a lot of bass. I would imagine rock probably would have a problem with these speakers above probably 70 or 75%. So that's just my honest opinion where we're about these. Like I said, listen to hip, uh, the lo-fi, some, you know, not bassy hip hop or something like that, some synth wave or something. It's going to be fine. But again, it just depends on your use case scenario, what you're going to be playing through these speakers, make an informed decision on their purchase. And yeah, back to past squid now. So the fine fine a20s or wherever are just not for me and my setup that doesn't mean it won't work for somebody else's setup out there maybe they're on a budget or something and this would fit perfectly in there because for me i would just use something like a google nest to play spotify or something like that or use my phone to play bluetooth on the fine fine a16 like i have been doing or my other speaker systems that i have in my house because if i'm at my setup i'm just gonna wear headphones some people might not want to do that at their setup wherever for whatever reason, but I will go ahead and stress to you guys that even though the fine fine A20s are really good speakers, they're not really meant for like, I would say gaming through the speaker systems itself. And it's just the actual capability of these speakers and just speakers like this because 
if you're going to be playing video games through speakers for immersive sound or something like that, or for whatever reason you don't want to wear a headset, you should be investing in more, I would say, professional studio monitors um, to be able to get the actual sound quality that you're looking for. And that's just the components that go into the speaker systems. Those are usually bigger and they're going to do uh, the job a lot better and what you're actually looking for. That's not a knock to the fine, fine A20s or wherever. That's just the actual real i would say world case scenario for those studio monitors that's the whole point of those kind of speakers these are just for listening to music listen to content or something like that you know a casual budget setup overall i do like these speaker systems again if you're listening to content and you listen to music it's perfectly fine it's just me and my use case scenario i'm always going to use headphones at my setup because i have a wife at home i have a son at home they sleep at different times i'm not going to be able to blast music or have you know speakers going on or something like that because there's no telling when they're up or when they're not and if i do that again the google nest or you know the fine fine a16s or wherever are good and i'm just playing lo-fi or wherever so i don't need like a surround sound studio system or something like that and at the end of the day i can always just use a headset or wherever that has a surround sound or wherever 7.1 surround sound or wherever built into the headset maybe something like the h9s from fine fine or wherever would be a very good uh let's say audio comparison or whatever because those are really really good headsets that being said again they're really good for a budget setup so if somebody out there is interested in these speakers i'm gonna go ahead and tell you that i reached out to fine fine and we're doing a giveaway so two lucky winners are going to receive these eight the a20s from fine fine directly from fine fine so what i'm going to do is only going to pick subscribers who comment down below why they would need this in their setup and what they would use it for and i'm gonna pick two people at random and what i'm gonna do is comment on your comment letting them know that you won and i'm gonna tell you to go over to twitter and follow me on twitter and as long as you can verify that it is your account over on Twitter, I will go ahead and tag your Twitter account with Fine Fine, letting them know that you won the speaker giveaway. And what they'll do is get in contact with you, get your information and all that stuff or wherever. So I don't have it at all. They're going to work with you wherever, and they're going to send you out a pair of the eight. 20s with that being said i will leave affiliate links down for the a20s and the a16s down in the description so if you want to pick it up for whatever reason either one then go ahead and do that if you want to check out any of the product reviews that i have done in the past there will be a product review playlist at the end of the video and if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe even if you don't want to go into the giveaway because i do product reviews all the time if you like the way this looks and stuff like that because i actually attached something new to my camera if you can tell the difference let me know what you guys think of this angle or this shot down in the comments as well and let me know what you guys think about the b-roll been trying something a little bit different with that so yeah with that being said don't forget to follow all the social media links down below and uh i'll see you guys in the next video y'all take care have a squid-tastic day stay safe out there and uh i'll see you guys later deuces everybody much love